And we're back, fellow knife enthusiast. He's C and I'm Joel. Just Joel. Mm -hmm. And this week's lineup consists of Condor, Tor, Hoback, and Civivi. Lots of stuff today, so let's get right into it. First knife is the Condor Bush Slicer Sidekick. Sidekick. Named after my colleague, of course. This knife was designed by Julio Diaz and is meant to accompany the original Bush Slicer to make an unstoppable indoor and outdoor knife duo. This knife is 8.9 inches overall with a 4.26 1095 high carbon steel blade and sports Condor's classic hammered and satin finish. It's one point. It's Wait a minute, one. It's no. point one two thick go. with a flat grind, second bevel. The handle is gray micarta. It also comes with a gray kydex sheath and black there you go. leather belt loop. There it is. And of course, there's the little lip for, you know, disengagement. Like that? Yep. I forget that. It's also on the bush slicer's sheath mm -hmm. as well. So. And it's just 101.98 from headlangknife.com. Yeah, that's good. I think this is an excellent addition to the Bush Slicer family, although to be perfectly honest, I think this one's more of, you know, the everyday Joe kind of knife. The other one was a bit larger and a little more limited in what you could use it for and where you're going to carry it. This one, though, perfect for pairing at home or at the camp. I mean, you can start a fire with it. You can cut things in the woods and your garage while working. I mean, it can even accomplish finer tasks. So I think that's what makes it a little more top-notch than the other one. What do you think? I like this knife a lot. Do you? Yep. I like the uh, contour of the micarta handles oh, there. Yeah, that's nice. It fits your hand perfectly mm -hmm. in both directions. Oh, it gives you a nice little thumb rest there, doesn't it? Look at that. If I was playing I didn't even notice that. that earlier. Well, there'll be times when you do that, I'm sure. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll bet. But I also like the blade shape. This would be a nice blade to use and I also on the shop uh, at Amazon. Every day. Use. Yeah, oh, that's great. Okay, well, I think I would have liked just a little touch of Jimpe on this one. You know, just a little bit right there mm. so that when I precision cut it, I had a little place to put my fingers. But that's just me, you know? Mm -hmm. It wouldn't have affected the knife at all either way. But Jimpe would have been the proverbial sticker for me. Speaking of stickers, uh oh. It does come with one. What? I always get excited about that. I like that. Put that stickers. on the back of her Hello Kitty moped. Yes. Oh, that's oh wait, right. Vespa. Vespa. So Vespa. That's right. It is. Yeah. All right. All right. Next plate. All righty. The Civivi Knox. Available in two versions. Mm -hmm. Silver gray and black. Nice. This flipper is 6.8 inch overall with a 2.97 Nitro V steel blade. Mm -hmm. Comes in at about 59 to 61 on the HRC scale. It is 0 0.12 thick <sighs> with a satin finish. Hollow grind and jimping. The handle is stainless steel and features a tip-up left and right hand stainless steel pocket clip. pocket clip. What? Crazy. Has the much desired Civivi pivot cap cover and There's lanyard hole. Lanyard hole. Yep. A couple of barrel spacers. And finally, this frame locks blade is opened with the Jimp flipper stud that operates on caged ceramic ball bearings. It also comes with a pouch. A cleaning cloth and more stickers. Sticker. This one I have my computer. Mm hmm. Still there. You are sticker crazy, aren't you? I'm a little sticker All crazy. Right. Yeah. I mean, I like this knife. It's a nice knife. It reminds me of lots of different knives. I mean, ones that Steel Wheel make, ones that uh, Kershaw makes. Kershaw makes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, nice frame lock, good size, it's nice not, blade shape with the belly. It's not my favorite kind of kind of lacks color for me. I think does, you're going with ho-hum. Ho-hum, yeah. It, it does open well, I'll give it that. And the mm -hmm. blade sharp, it cuts nicely. I mean, it, it's a knife. It's going to do what you need it to do. But I don't think there's much to say. Just kind of a basic, you know, everyday carry. You're going to throw this in your pocket. Go cut stuff. Hmm. Nothing to, to show off. That's a first. And it's only sixty-three seventy-five from alandknife.com. All right. What's next? Mm -hmm. Well, I would say the Tor Knives Marlin Spike 2.0. Mm -hmm. Where is it though, you ask? I don't know. <gasps> what? <laughs> I know. Magic. Wow. Well, you know what? 
Okay. Yes, it can be used for self-defense, really? untying knots, and accessorizing. The uses are endless. You know, I kind of like that you did have it in your hair. It's yeah. kind of, you know. I'm just showing you it's a versatile tool that Didn't you can use. Didn't even need the, the fancy sheath. I know. I was, I was going to put it in my hair, too. I was like, you know. That would look silly, but that have, would go just fine. I don't have enough hair. You could put some ribbon on that. Nobody would even fob. know. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's give them the specs. Here we go. The updated version of Tor Knives original Marlin Spike. It features two additional finer grooves at the top for added grip. Yep. As well as a spot for a lanyard yes. or ribbons uh, well, for the ladies who want to wear it in their hair. Yeah, okay, which gives you a, a chance for easier, quicker access. Um, it lets you doll it up any way you like. Yeah. Doll it up. Yeah. Very well, you're nice. gonna go with the whole. Though it was originally thing. designed as a nautical tool for splicing rope, untying knots, or forming handles. Mm -hmm. It is a multi-tool prepared for any self-defense task or piercing situation. Ah, it's 6.5 inches overall, made of 4140 chromoly steel. Comes in carbon black, gold, and my favorite, the teal. I don't think there's any other color besides teal. <sighs> And nothing exists except teal. Mm -hmm. Diameter is 0 0.375 inches. The steel comes to about 50 on the Rockwell scale. Weighs 2.2 ounces, so a bit of a heft to this. Yeah, it's hefty. Yeah. Lastly, it comes hefty, with a fold-over leather sheath stitched with wax nylon thread and sealed with four count them. black eyelets. Yeah. Tour standard universal pattern, and it's compatible with all of their mounts. You also get this bag. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> for for reference, the carbon black one comes with a black leather sheath mm -hmm. instead of the brown one here. It's just Golden a snazzy. Teal. Golden teal get this one. Lucky them because mm -hmm. I like this one better. Best thing about this, it's only 75 bucks from AlignUp.com. There we go. So, give me your thoughts. I think it's pretty obvious what I think. Steel and the design are all good for uh, impact and fracture resistance, especially from repeated stress. So, it's going to hold up corrosion resistance with the KG gun coat finish, which by the way, does not mean Kelly Green. That was a joke. It's actually a protective coating when applied correctly, it does not chip, crack, or uh, I think peel. So according to the maker of the finish, KG Industries. Hmm, in short? I get it, that's all. Not just to go in my hair, but you know, for undoing paracording stuff, because you know, people make belts and gun slings and monkey gotcha. fists, so you want to be able to unravel it so you can actually use it, and it's usually pretty tight. Or you just hiking in the woods and you want to take your boots off and you've knotted them? Mm hmm. Self defense, too, you know, just come at me. Yeah, okay. Oh, come and, at me, bro. And because it looks cool. Sometimes you just get something because it looks cool. Okay, okay. that's just me. Yeah, you put one of those little erasers on the top of that thing. People wouldn't even know it wasn't a pin until ah. they got too close to it. All right. Just like attach it to the. Well, I gotta be honest. Pocket with you. Oh, then you could be a nerd, the most dangerous nerd in the world. Yeah. All right, most interesting nerd. That. Okay. Go ahead. What do you think? How about? Well, there's not a lot to say about it. I like it. I mean, seems like it has a use to me, and it, it's a knife, and it has a use. It's a knife. I normally like it. Yep. All right, that does bring us to the next item on the table, the Hoback Redford Starry Night. Hmm. Yeah. But first, please make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and, as Gargana said, ring that bell. All so you can be connected to Atlantic Knife and get notified when we post our five-minute reviews, AK Blade Show episodes. And you'll be entered in our giveaways. That too. The most important. Yeah. Right now on the YouTube, we are giving away the Tour Knives Anaconda, courtesy of Tour Knives, and us of course, and oh, all made and us, American I think that was given, because whose name's right there? Uh, I don't know. Well, over on Light Knives blog, if you answer the AK trivia question, you'll be entered to win the Tour Knives Field 2.0. Oh. oh, that is nice. I know. The copper part's what gets me. It is But nice. an extremely sharp and boss knife. Point. That was a little pointless. Why? Maybe from your viewpoint. Ah, well, moving on to the next check point. Oh, wow, we're dotting all over yeah. the place. Yeah, so the Hobeck Radford with Starry Night now. Let's do I it. I do like this one right off the bat Who for obvious reasons. However, I know. Oh no. I do think they could have incorporated just a little more 
of the Starry Night. I feel like if someone hadn't told me, I would have just said that's a cool pattern on the handle. Maybe more and they'd have to pay a royalty. I was thinking maybe that, or they didn't know. want it to look too like novelty I don't think so. or I think gas those station ish. Are, um, I thought they were free reign. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. But they could have put like the little castle on there, or the the cottages, or the giant star, something that said, "Bam, this is Starry Night." So they just had kind of a a wavy pattern on a couple of them. You know what? Less is more. But I don't think so. I think I if know. you hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known. What? If they hadn't said Starry Night, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a I cool you. handle. You wouldn't have known. Well, they didn't put an R-U on there, but you know it's a Radford. <laughs> just kidding. I just Only think, people in Virginia will get that joke. I just think we could have got the Starry Night vibe if they just added, you know, one of the big points of it. That's just me. Well, I like this knife a lot. That's nice. I mean, blade shape. Has me quaking in mm, my boots. boots. Yeah. I knew that was coming. All right. Okay. We've said our piece. Mm -hmm. On to the specs. Here we go. This knife is a smaller version of the well-favored Hoback Quayback. Get it? Yes. Both of which are designed by Jake Hoback. Really? Yeah. This USA made flipper is 8 inch overall with a 3.25 inch CPM 20 CV stainless steel. That's Trailing nice. point Tanto blade with black DLC stone wash finish, flat grind, and it is 0.156 inch thick. Handle is Starry Night G Carta with black <laughs> DLC titanium frame lock back. Blade is opened with the singly indented flipper tab. Operates on privet thrust bearings, hardened stainless bearing races, and sports a hardened stainless steel lock insert with over travel prevention. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I once hung out in a starry night in Jakarta. Oh, did you? Yeah. That's great. All right. There's also a Hoback roller detent for extra smooth opening and closing. The external stop pin allows the knife to go further back between takedowns for easy cleaning. A few of the features include a tip-up reversible black titanium pocket clip, black titanium gym spacer, back spacer, excuse me, with lanyard slot. And finally, this entire work of literal art comes with a wooden collector's box. I like it, yeah. And hold on. <coughs> hold on. Hold on. You threw away just patch with the quality. Throw yeah, which you know on. what? Uh, tools for gent could have stuck out of that patch. They told us they don't come with patches. Nope, we've changed our minds. That's crazy. That is. They're they're robbing you. And robbing me. me. They're robbing me. It's crazy. Because I may or may not have got one with a giant little logo on it. I you don't didn't. know. <laughs> Nobody <gasps> got a patch. I didn't get the. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is I, I got know. the knife but no patch. I think it's messed up actually. It is. It's messed up. I'm gonna up. ask again if I can get one. However. You can have a Starry Night knife in your own hand for just $525 at That's it. That's all it takes. Five bills and a quarter. <sighs> hey, it's a hoback. I think it's a great knife. mid techs are that expensive too. Yeah. So. And the yeah. extras top it off perfectly. Okay then, next blade on the table is the Civivi Kepler. Yep. I'm just going to go straight right into this. it. Yeah, I am. So, designed by Macy... Torbay, that's, mm -hmm. what we, that's what we determined. Not that's Melissa Torbay. Nope, no. no. Comes in three different colors. OD green, tan, and black. We have the OD green and the black making an appearance today. All right. Go ahead. So they are 9.93 inch overall with a 4.48 inch 9CR18 MOV steel sheep's foot style blade, which comes in at about 58, 59, that's call right. it 60 on the HRC scale. It has a high flat grind, which is better than I guess a... A low flat grind? Yeah, I wouldn't want a low flat grind. Jimping, sateen finish, and it's about 0.16 thick. Handles are G10, as previously. It sports a NUC, as EOS would call it, with jimping and allows for a lanyard attachment, which coincidentally it comes with. So black paracord key fob there. It's got a stickers like you the know, other one. You know, it's a tight, tight paracord lanyard. Yeah. Under I bet what, you. What under would have something to if undo that. If you needed that. to use that, you pull out that. Look at that. I mean, I that's know, tight. I mean, it is. How am I going to get that? Oh. Well, I guess we should tell them about the no, black kydex sheath with T-clip. Yeah, it does come with a black. Yeah. Which, you know, yes. designed by Bob Terzola. Yep. And the infamous cleaning cloth. Olay. All right. Well, really? That's, a, that's a close. You're going to be hitting me. <laughs> 
<coughs> Some people are excited now. Oh, like, yeah. Hey, oh, for only $85 on RedKnife.com. That's where it's at. Yeah. All right, I'll go first. Okay, here's yours. Here's mine. Thank you. Uh -huh, you're welcome. You know what? Not bad. Not bad it is at a all. big hunk of steel with a little bit of a scale. Mm hmm. Feels good in your hand, though. I'll give them that. I think I might, uh, would like a little bit more than 9CR18 MOV. Look at that balance, buddy. But. Look at that balance. I will say this. I bet you it's sharp. It will cut. There are some people that will do what we consider budget steel. And it will be sharp as can be. Knife challenge. No. <laughs> Oh, wow. I think it's a great knife for the price. Blade steel could have been a little higher end, I mm. agree with you. But other than that, it's good. It's got a nice weight to it. I like it. It's like 7.3 ounces. Mm -hmm. And it could easily work as both like a tactical or a survival knife. Either one would work. I agree. Yep. I don't really got much else to say than that. I don't either. I'll move on That's to the nice. next one. You want the black one? Wow. Or the jade one? So next is the Civivi. What did we decide on? Kai, Kai V. I don't know. It's so small. I couldn't even get a whole name. Hold off. <laughs> hold off. We're doing specs Oh, let's first. do specs. Okay, All go right? ahead. Jeez. All right. Jeez. So, comes in two different versions. Why they bother to do two is beyond me, but okay. Wait a minute. What happened to hold off? Hold <gasps> all comments till the end of the presentation. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. So, this front flipper slip joint. You're normally not this biased. I know. Very, you're very I'm, unbiased. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try right. again. I'm gonna try again. All right, let's do okay. it. This front flipper slip joint <laughs> is 3.94 inches overall, with a 1.55 inch 9CR18 MOV steel blade. It's got a flat grind, is about 0.1 inches thick, and sports a black stone wash finish on this one. Jimped blade is deployed through the front flipper tab and operates on a K ceramic ball bearing and weighs only 1.4 ounce. Handleless G10 comes in jewel jade or black. Hey, I have an idea. What? Let's forget the script and do bad cop, good cop. I want to be bad cop. I want to be bad cop so bad. Wait a minute. Russian wanted, roulette, I'm going to shoot. <laughs> I'm wanting to be bad cop. You can't be bad cop because okay. I'm bad cop. No, but you're so nice. I don't believe you. <laughs> okay. All right, go on back. Yeah. Uh -huh. I can't be bad cop now. I'm great, great. So operates on, you already said caged. Okay. Yeah, I got Liners you. are stainless steel. Well, yes, yeah. they are. Yes, okay. And it has a tip up right carry pocket clip. Lastly, this double detent slip joint comes with a sticker, not like that could save it, a clothing, a cleaning cloth, and a pouch. <sighs> I can't believe I'm this about is to not say this. Funny. Hold on. Okay, listen. Hold All on. for the low, low price. Can't even tell they're in my hands right now. $45. You remind me of Paco from Kickboxer. Atlantaknife.com. All right. You can go first. Thank you. Can I? Yes. How about you go first? I'll really? You, yeah, because I've been doing it the whole All time. Right. It's not fair. Well, here, I'll tell you what. You're not... Go ahead. This thing's all kinds of wrong. <laughs> Front flipper, I mean, it's kind of a top flipper, isn't it? Front flipper would be on the other side of the knife. That would be the front. Okay. A back top flipper? And I know what you're thinking to yourself right now. That's what you're pointing out? <laughs> First of all, the name shouldn't be Kai V. It should be like Grasshopper. Or, Wait, uh, Spartaco has that, and it's better than that. Or the Mies. Or, I mean, French or something. Or the Mini Pequeno. I don't know. There are going to be people that like this knife. I know, because this... I'm going to get... Yes, there are... Okay, so I'm going to be kind... And I'm Good just going to hand this gonna... slip joint. But, oh, I didn't think it was going to close that way. To you. I thought it was going to close the other yeah, way. Yeah, so did I. Can't tell. Point. So, swing and a miss, Savivi. Savivi, I love you. Elementum, Shredder, Asticus, all good. Great oh, even. Oh, Asticus. This one, good. Even this one. But come on, guys. You're officially Merrill in signs, okay? Minor league strikeout record here. I mean... It's tied with the Spyderco Poochie. Oh, I got it. No joke. The noisy cricket. Didn't we try this somewhere sometime? I feel like you tried Men to do the black. noisy. Oh. oh. You know what? It can't be the noisy cricket. Except that thing kicks butt. It can't. And this. Freaking, it's just one. If, if a, a um, robber came up to you and said, give me your wallet, and you took this out, he'd be like, man, I don't need your money anymore. You know what you really could do with this? 
This is sad enough. Let me tell you this would be helpful. You don't need your... Shaved ice. Look at that. No. I am shaving ice right now. Maybe to get some of those shavings Look, watch. that you need to like... You ever watch that movie, uh, pat, Ocean's pat Eleven? Ugh, where uh, Mr. I, Wang... I like to, Ocean's Twelve. I'd like to say no. Mr. Mr. Wang like comes you really to play. Need to discern, he has the big nose. 12, which is 11. And he's like... <clears throat> want to have a drink. He can't get it past his nose. If he had this, he could pull this out of his pocket. I wasn't even worried about cutting myself. Did you notice that? Yeah, I saw. I don't think this could penetrate it far enough oh. to actually cause harm. Not good enough reason to use it. <laughs> Shave him. You know what? I'm sorry. I could ram. The <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> See? I, you know what? I'm done. Whittle! Wait, no, wait a minute. It's not safe for whittling. It's slip joint. Mm. Uh, well, maybe you know. Yeah, tell us what you really think. Okay. I can't help it, guys. It's, it's that bad. I've held the best tech tulip, okay? And this is worse than that. <laughs> Circumcise a gnat. <laughs> You probably can't. Can you even do that? <laughs> I don't know. All right. At least they released a frame lock with titanium and bowler M390. Mm -hmm. It's too small for me, I, but I like the name and the style of the tulip and the color options, but this doesn't even have the high quality materials or the color options or the unique flair, and nothing accounts for the price. I mean, it's more than half of this knife. Half of this knife is is a, a, a knife in this. Oh, I know half. what accounts for the price. The Kepler is like four times the knife this is. It's their entry level. That's Maybe the even price. six. The price is the price. And it just went up 10%. Because we talked about it and now our price just um, went up. Hold on. You know what? what Maybe what Maybe this? we're biased. Oh. Because we don't like... They're biased. Lives. Because like, they're smoking? Is that like, what you're <laughs> saying? I think it's morally right to promote smoking to the youth of America. <laughs> they're biased. That's a mistrial. Smokey the Parrot, I can't remember positive, you sure? I mean... Yes, I have one thing that's positive. It comes in jewel jade. Okay, there you go. There you go! Silver lining! Let's just, let's just put that over there. Let's just... <laughs> take it out of view. Take it out of the yeah, Let's put it back so people can see it. Okay, go ahead. Anything, anything <sighs> to add? Anything at all? You know, I have only one more thing to say. There's only two things worse than this knife. This ought to be good. Prohibition. Oh, of and course. And my mother-in-law. Oh, we knew it was coming. We knew it was... However, there is some possible movement I I on that take front. Your Prohibition's been gone for years. Thank oh. goodness. We're actually heading in the right direction. If you guys know what I mean. Gosh. Since you'll be out by the end of today. Now that's what she said on Tuesday. Wait a minute. Her Corolla's still out back. Hold on. Is that? <laughs> is that a holy saint riding down on his flaming <laughs> chariot from heaven to announce Armageddon? Oh, uh, I think it is. I hope you're on the right side. Oh, thanks for that. All right. Okay. Go on. I don't think she's gone. And I get, like, really? Like, her bed's made. <laughs> she put her covers and stuff, her comforter and all that I'm on there. I'm not freezing, so you obviously know, I'm thinking, frozen over. I'm thinking it's coming soon. She, she told so, you by the end of the day. Yeah, I know. I know. You were telling me, and she's like, From well, we were at... From your mouth. I, I hope, I hope is she has moved. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna that was it, wasn't it? Pray for you. Yep. Since that was our last, I don't even want to call it a blade. Wow, did we really please, spoil this show by not ending on a high note? Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See? That way you get all the Atlantic Knife videos you desire, not just those that include this. Along with being entered in the giveaways. On the YouTube, we're giving away the Tour Knives Anaconda. That's a high note. There it is. And on Atlantic Knife's blog, we got the Tour go. Knives. I'm Field 2.0. Yes, you are right, didn't you? See, we always come through. So make sure to do that. Gary, on the hi-hat. Here it is. We're also on social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGV, and Instagram. Hey, don't make fun of Gary. <laughs> he put a whooping to you. I saw it. Oh, that thing. That. <laughs> That's my country word today. Oh, whooping. Okay. Yeah, whooping. I had a c cattle wonk. Walker. What was that? Yeah, out there and pick your own switch. No, thank you. <laughs> Check AK out for all of our knife pictures, videos, giveaways, deals, and more. With that, we're going to let you go. I'm C, this and is this Joel. is. I feel like that was... There it is. Just Joel, and we are signing off. Do you think it's safe to be telling the kids of America to uh, light up Perry, Perry, what, what was his name? I would have liked a little touch of jimping, just, you know, so I could hold it while I was going to do those finer tasks, but that's just me, you know.